At ESL 1 Cologne, the biggest surprise was that the hometown heroes Big made it into the finals, plowing through teams like Liquid, G2, and FaZe, only to fall versus Na'Vi in the finals. Not bad for a team ranked 25th in the world, who many were arguing shouldn't have even received an invite to the event. Given their impressive string of upsets, we wanted to take a closer look at one of their most impressive wins, a 16-6 over FaZe on Inferno in the semi-finals that sent the number two team in the world home packing. This video is brought to you by Upcomer, the all-in-one mobile app for esports fans. It's got everything you need to keep up with CSGO matches before, during, and after each game. With the app, you can follow teams for notifications when they play, check event schedules, find brackets and standings, and get live updating scores as games are being played. Use the link, also posted in the description, to download Upcomer for iOS and Android totally free. The keys to this victory were big solid CT setups, their utility usage, and their patience. The first round we'll take a look at is round seven, the first real buy of the game for FaZe, thanks to some weird force buys earlier on. Right away, we can see Big using utility to get map control at Banana. First, Tizzy and Molly's off the entrance to stop any rushes. Smuya then backs him up, flashing Tizian around the wall, which allows him to push up to logs and fully secure Banana. If that wasn't enough, Gobby smokes off the top of T-Ramp from Apps, further blocking off Banana. With all this utility used towards Banana, FaZe focuses on apartments. The T's are planning on exploding out of Apps under the cover of Flashes to take the site. Unfortunately for FaZe, Nex and Gobby are perfectly set up to counter this. Notice how Big only has Tabson watching mid from arch side. They don't need to double up on mid since Nex and Gob B are in a position where they can cover both apps and truck side. When the hit comes in, Gob B takes out Rain before getting traded out. Nex just has to sit back in the pit, finding easy frags on the Chroman, Kerrigan, and Nico. With four players down and control of the bomb, Big hunts for Guardian, eventually taking the AK out of his hands. This round win puts FaZe onto an eco and causes the super team to use a timeout to collect themselves. The next pivotal round for Big was round 10. FaZe managed to win round 9, so a victory for Big here would reset the T's economy and allow them to snowball more rounds, which is exactly what we'll see the German squad do. At the start of the round, we see Big make a small gamble. They send next to B with Smuya and Tizian, leaving only two players at A. This shift is an adjustment based on the previous round, when FaZe easily steamrolled the B site. We'll see this stack pay off as FaZe initially spreads out for map control, but then collapses back onto Banana for a B hit. Notice how patient Big is. While most teams would probe for info, the German squad trusts their setup and just chills. This burns so much time as FaZe looks for any openings to find a pick. This patience, combined with their utility usage, is what wins big this round. As soon as the Germans catch wind that the hit is coming to B-Site, they keep Banana smoked off. These smokes allow Tizian to play an off angle, catching two FaZe players during the execute. With control of the bomb and the remaining two T's trapped in Banana, Big moves in, taking out Guardian after the round ended, ruining his money. After round 10, FaZe manages to force up and win round 11. Again, they're in a situation where they need to win round 12, or else they'll have their economy reset yet again. We see Big return to their standard setup, with Smuya and Tizian holding down B, Tabson watching mid from Arch, and Gabi and Nex holding apps. FaZe sends Nico to take banana control, while the rest of the team takes apartments and top mid control. FaZe smokes off Moto and Arch, with the intent of sending three players to wrap B through CT spawn, while Kerrigan grabs the bomb and meets up with Nico at banana. As soon as the smokes come in, Tabson makes a great call out that a wrap could be coming in. This prompts Smuya to rotate back to CT spawn, finding a pick on Guardian then another pick onto Nico as he rushes out of Banana. The real hero in this round though is Tizian, who does a great job of stalling behind Nubox. He stays alive long enough 
for the rest of Big to rotate through Banana. While FaZe is distracted by Tizian, Tabson finds two easy picks onto Rain and Chroman. Up two on one, Tabson easily closes out the round, putting FaZe onto another eco deep into the half. While Big may not have taken home the trophy at Cologne, they did make a strong statement to the world that they're a team capable of taking down some of the best in the world. What's even more impressive was that these wins didn't come off the back of one player. Everyone was fragging, and thanks to the solid CT setups, the brilliant utility usage, and their patience, big as a team nobody will take lightly. Blitz Esports releases new CSGO videos every week. Subscribe so you don't miss a single one.